Hey guys, my name is Jason with S&J Forest Products. And on today's video, we're out here in the brush. We're going to be dragging out some of these old windblown trees. We're going to get them out to the landing and then up to Fred the sawmill guy and cut them up into boards and beams. So here's a quick look at this log we're after today. And this is a western red cedar. It's been down for probably two or three years now. But this wood is very, very rot resistant. And the toms broke off up here. I don't know, I haven't put a tape on it yet, but I expect it's about 18 or 20 feet long. And you may be asking yourself, what in the heck is he doing out in the brush taking this three-year-old windblown tree and spending any time with it? It's not that long, it's not that big. But Western Red Cedar is a very, very expensive wood. And I would guess that this log probably has 500 or maybe up to $700 worth of lumber in it for me. Because once I get it milled up, I can sell this stuff for about $5 a board foot. So let me get it cut off the stump here. We'll drag it out of the brush, figure out how long it is, get it scaled, and figure out how many board feet are in this log. All right, let's get a choker on it and we'll drag it out of here. Well, the first thing is there's a little bit of butt rot here. So I can either leave that and have Fred cut around it, which he doesn't like to do, or we can trim it off. But let's see how long it is here. So it's just shy of 20 feet. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buck that end a little bit and I'll get it down to a 16 footer because most of what I cut is eight foot pieces for people. And I've got lots of beams right now. So this will probably end up being eight foot one by sixes. But let me trim off that butt and see how much rot we got. Let's see if I can make a nice 16 out of it. Here's the fresh butt that I cut off and there's no more rot in there. Real nice looking wood. And I just calculated this. We've got a 10 inch top. We've got a 16 foot log and it scales at 50 board feet. 
And there's probably more than that in here. Fred and I have done this a bunch of times, especially on the smaller logs. You get sometimes up to 50 or more percentage of board feet when you cut it on the sawmill. So there may be 75 or 80 board feet in here, which maybe I got a little excited thinking it was a longer log, but on this log at 80 board feet, let's say, I've got $400 worth of wood there. Well, here's one you're gonna just laugh at me about. I've, I've walked past this one here four or five times, drove the skidder over it. And I guess I'm in a good mood today because I'm gonna take it. It's a cedar that's been split in half. So there's one half, there's the other half over there. And it looks like a pile of junk, but there's still a lot of good wood in here. And so I'll bucket back up there somewhere and get it drug out we'll take a look at it but there could be again two three four hundred dollars in wood laying here and like i say i just started today so maybe i'm in a good mood and i'm not tired so i'll just take the whole thing but let me get it bucked up and drug out and then there's actually a couple more cedars back up over here that let's see if i can make my way over there that are also worth taking, I think. These ones have been down for a while. There's no bark on them. Here you go, here's one. I think there's another one underneath there. But no bark on them. The sapwood's rotted out, but that cedar, that heartwood is gonna be still nice and competent, and they'll make great boards. So I know you old loggers are laughing at me for salvaging all this crap, but there's good money in it for me. So let me get it drug out, we'll see what it looks like. Well, I think I lost you there, but I got those two bucked. And rather than try and get down in there and figure out what we got, I'm just gonna choke them and yard them out of here. I've also got this big one here that's all split. My friend's gonna be pissed about that one. <laughs> Well, those are some nice looking logs actually. So to get you oriented here a little bit, they're back over there. This is that one with the big long split in it. And I was looking here, this was cut by a feller buncher. And I think what happened was they came in here and went to cut it. There's the flat butt and the tree split on them. So they just left it lay. And so that gives us a time period. This was cut maybe five years ago. So this tree's been laying here five years in the brush. And these two trees are quite a bit older because they were underneath that one and they don't have any bark on them. The sapwood's pretty rotten. So these may have been laying here for six, eight, maybe even 10 years. But come look here where I bucked them. The wood is, is still fantastic, just a quarter inch in. I mean, it's, it's just still in beautiful shape. Both of these, this one's obviously got some butt rod in it, but that one too. They're all, they've been laying here, like I say, eight, 10 years maybe, and they're still perfectly good wood. So I'm pretty excited to get these three out of here. This is, it's kind of like treasure hunting. You're finding all these little diamonds in the rough out here. But let's get these things uh, measured out. I'll buck them into lengths. We can scale them real quick and then I'll get them yarded to the landing. So now we're at the small end. This is a six inch top on a 36 inch or 36 foot log. And that one there is an eight inch on a 26 foot log. And then I got a little butt down there that's eight foot at 12 inch. So let me get these scaled. We'll see how many board foot we got. All right, well the log scale calculator tells me there's 120 board feet here. 
but I can guarantee you that it's probably at least 50% more because this 36 foot log here has a six inch top. So it's measuring a cylinder six inches all the way down that log to the butt. But when you come down here, this is a 16 foot log here with probably an eight or nine inch top. So there's probably just as much board footage in this 16 foot log as there is in the rest of the log up here and whatever the board scale calculator doesn't calculate. So I'm, I'm expecting there's probably somewhere around 160, 180, maybe 200 board feet here in all these logs. And at $5 a board foot, what is that? Six, eight hundred, a thousand dollars right here on this turn? Man, for dragging it out of the woods, that's pretty good. All right guys, well, here's my haul for the day. I did four or five turns with about three logs each. So I brought between 12 and 15 logs to the landing here. And I got them bucked into mostly 16s. There's a few 12s and 10s and a few eights in there. But uh, the next step is to get all this stuff loaded on the trailer. I can end up doing about 15 sticks on a trailer. And right now I counted, I got in this kind of hodgepodge pile I've got a, right around 30 sticks. So I've got two trailer loads here. There you go, two. And uh, I figure I get somewhere on the order of three to $4,000 a trailer load when it all is cut up and, and uh, in inventory. So I've got six to $8,000 worth of wood here. So not too bad for dragging it out of the uh, mud and the weeds and the brush, but uh, let's get this stuff up to Fred. We'll get it cut up and we can see what it looks like.